My fourth video will focus on the knowledge and skills I've gained through this program and how I've been able to apply them in a professional context. I started this program as I entered into my third year of teaching, and while I had figured out a lot of the basics of teaching by that point, I was still kind of tinkering with how to make my class more effective and more inclusive and more focused on education. And many of the projects that I worked on as part of this program helped me to discover things that worked and didn't work with my students, and it gave me lots of ideas to try in the classroom. I'd like to start with the idea of collaboration. One of the biggest collaborative projects I did was my final project for EdTech 505, the evaluation report. I used this project as an opportunity to evaluate a one-to-one -one Chromebook program that my school had started and to try and see what effect, if any, it was having on students. I sent out surveys and conducted interviews with both teachers and students to try and get a sense of how much they used Chromebooks, and I used that data I collected to make specific recommendations for the continuation of the program. This project required me to work closely with both fellow teachers and students, and it reinforced the idea that in education, it's almost always more effective to collaborate than to try and go it alone. Professional knowledge also requires reflection on practice and thinking critically about the beliefs that you hold about how we learn. One of the most interesting learning theories I came across during this program was called connectivism. And without getting too into the weeds, connectivism essentially argues that learning takes place via a series of nodes that learners connect to through some kind of interaction. To me, this theory makes a lot of sense in the age of the internet, when students are more connected to the wider world than ever before in human history. Connectivism intrigued me so much that I wrote about it for the final paper in EdTech 504, and discussed various ways connectivist theory has been used already in learning environments. I tried to implement connectivist theory in some of my lessons as well by having students create repositories of information that they could use for major projects, studies, etc., and ensuring that all of them could access those from their computers at school. It is the nature of teaching that things change, but the central idea of teaching stays more or less constant. Students come to teachers to learn, and while the methods of delivery may change over the years to keep up with cultural trends and new discoveries in educational research, the basic idea of taking a learner from a place of ignorance to a place of knowledge, that stays constant. The goal of this program, or any program that wants to help create better instructors, should be to empower instructors with tools and knowledge to make them more effective at passing on their own learning to students, and I think this program has done just that.